Up, we've got Alexis Sullivan, who will be talking to us about jumping tree animals. <laughs> Hi, I'm me, and I work with this person. And I will be talking about this today. Humans have been around for at least 10 hundred hundred years, which is not a very long time when you consider the age of our world. Yet in this small bit of time, humans have become very good at changing the world and the not human lives around them in all kinds of ways. Sure, humans meant to change some of the animals and green growing things to have more food around, but we are only just realizing how many other animals and green growing things have changed too. One of the things that humans have gotten especially good at is catching and eating animals. Most animals with pointed teeth look for animals to eat that are young, old, or sick because they are easier to catch and eat. Humans are different. <laughs> humans like to often like to catch and eat the biggest animals because a bigger animal means more food all at once, so more people get to eat at the same time. People who study life have noticed that as humans catch and eat the larger bodied animals, sometimes only the smaller ones are left to make babies and over time all the animal bodies get smaller. These are some of the animals and green growing things that have been getting smaller over time because of humans catching and eating them. We can tell how big the bodies of some animals used to be by looking at the hard white things that hold their bodies together, especially by looking at the ones, ends of ones in their arms and legs. I wanted to find out if this getting smaller thing might be happening in the jumping tree animals that live in the number four biggest land surrounded by water. <laughs> Humans have been eating the jumping tree animals here for at least 20 hundred years. We think that might be part of the reason why there are not any huge animals living here anymore. I went to this area to see if the long hard white things from arm, the, uh, let me try again. The long hard white arm and leg things from animals that lived a long time ago are bigger than the ones from today from the same area. While there are big and small grown-ups in the living group of jumping tree animals, boy jumping tree animals are not bigger than girl jumping tree animals. So we can look at the long, hard white things from all the grown-ups. I brought this picture-taking thing with me to take hundreds of pictures of each of the hard white things that were found on the ground after the animals died. I took all of these pictures clean them up and fix them all together on the computer to exactly build a match of the whole hard white thing that I could take numbers from. <laughs> I have some of these computer matches made into matter and brought them with me today if you would like to check them out later. <laughs> so this picture on the left is showing you one of the sets of numbers I took from the long hard white things in the legs of animals from today in not blue. And the ones that were two years ago. <laughs> On the right, these numbers were all joined so that we could see if the animals from a long time ago were bigger than the ones who are living today. From these numbers, it seems like the jumping tree animals from a long time ago were maybe a bit bigger than the ones that live in this area today. Maybe this means that humans might have been trying to catch and eat the biggest animals in the group, but we are not yet sure. Thank you for your time. That was awesome, and yes, I wanted. Is that a? Did you print that on a 3D printer? <coughs> I will be touching that later. <laughs> <laughs> um,